Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create navigational menu in WordPress. So let's just begin. Okay, to create the navigational menu in the WordPress, it's really easy. All you need to do is to go inside the appearance and in the appearance, as you can see the option of the menus. So let's click here and from here we can simply create our navigational menu. Okay, so if I just click on my website here, you will be able to see that this is the menu that we have right now but we will be creating a new one from the scratch okay so let's go back to the dashboard okay so how can we create the navigation menu so let's click on the create a new menu from here then after that what you need to do you have to write down the name of the menu so i just simply write down the template here okay and let's click on the create menu and this would simply create the navigation menu for you okay so now we have to add the pages into our menu so from here in the pages we can simply add the pages into our menu okay so i would simply like to add the blog page the new banner and login and registration in our menu okay to add these pages into the menu let's just click on the add to the menu and this would simply add all of these pages that we have selected in our menu all right Okay, so after selecting the pages, all you need to do is to select the display location of our menu. So I want to display this menu as the primary menu. So I will just simply check this and I will just click on the save menu. Okay, so we have created our menu. We have added the pages into our menu and we have also selected the display location of our menu. So if you want to manage the different locations for the different menu, all you need to do is to click on the manage locations. And from here, we can have the different menus on the different locations. So for example, if I just click here, you can see that we have the four different menus. So we can simply select any menu from here for the secondary menu location. All right, so you can play around with this as well. Okay, so now let's click on the edit menus. Okay, so we have selected the menu. We have done everything here. So let's go back to our web page here. Click on the refresh. And now you will be able to see our newly created navigational menu here. And these are the pages that we have added in our newly created menu. All right, so let's go back. And in the navigational menu, you can also add the post and the custom links as well. Okay, so if you want to add the custom link to your navigational menu, you can also do it. And if you want to add the post to your navigational menu, you can simply do it from here. But right now, I'll just simply add the custom link. So let's click on the custom link here. And I would simply like to add the custom link here. Okay, so I have added the custom link here. So let's just have the link text here. That would be the search engine. Okay, so let's click on the add to the menu and this would add the custom URL to our navigational menu. Okay, so let's click on the save. And if we go back to our website, refresh the page, you will be able to see the option of our custom link here. Okay, so this is how you can add the custom URL if you want to add this. And now we will learn to add the drop down menu in our navigational menu. So how can we do that? That is really easy. So I want to select the user profile. Let's just add this to the menu. And I also want to add the video background as well. Okay, so what I want to do here, I want to add the blog page, new banner and the video background as the drop down menu option of the user profile. Okay, so how can we create the drop down? That is really easy. All you need to do is to click on the page. Then you have to drag this slightly to the right. And this would add as the sub item of the user profile. And in the similar way, I can add the blog page. So let's drag this and I have to place this under the user profile and I have to drag this a bit in the right direction. And this is how I can add the sub item. So let's add the new banner now. All right. So this is how we can create the drop down menu. So let's click on the save menu. And if I just go back to my website here, click on the refresh, you will be able to see the drop down menu of the user profile. And we have all of these options that we have added in our drop down menu. Okay, so how can we customize the drop down menu? Okay, so for that, what you need to do, you have to click on the customize. Okay, so you might see the different editor, the different options depend on the theme that you're using. But I'm using the Astro theme here. So that is why I'm having this editor and these options. Okay, so now to customize the header, all I need to do is to click on the header builder. Okay, so from here, we can customize our menu. So let's click on the transparent header. And uh, let's click on the design here. And here, as you can see, the option of the menu color and sub menu color. So, if you want to change the color of the sub menu or the drop down menu, you can do it from here. So, let's click on the text color here. So, that would be actually a red text.
just for the testing purpose so if i just move the cursor over my drop down menu you can see the test color of our sub menu items okay so i can change the color into the green okay so this is how it works so if i just change it to the white this is how you can customize the text color of our sub menu and in the similar way if you want to change the background color all you need to do is to click here and change the background color from here so let's just click on the black here and if i just move my cursor over there now you can see that we have the black background color of our sub menu all right so let's just reset the values here and in the similar way if you want to change the text color or the background color of the whole menu you can simply do it from here so let's click here click choose here now you can see this this is how we can change the color here i just click on the clear so this is how you can customize the color of the menu and the sub menu and if you want to add the border to our menu you can simply do it from here okay so if i just go back and if you want to do the more customization in the primary menu, I just click on the primary menu here. And from here, you can set the width of our sub menu. You can add the item divider. So let's just enable this value. And if I move my cursor over the drop down menu, now you will be able to see the item divider here. And if I just click on the design here, you can change the menu hover style. Okay, you can add the divider size. And you can also set the offset value and you also have the sub menu options we have the border width we have the border radius and you can also explore the other options here of the spacing menu font and the menu color all right so this is how we can customize our navigational menu here so let's click on the publish and now let's just have a look at our navigational menu here okay so this is how our navigational menu is looking in the end so this is how we can create the navigational menu in the WordPress and if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.